I brought some VHSs for him. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 total screens. And they just gave you $110 off. That, that is, is so, so cool though, like man. That. Yes, when people say to ask if you have other things to sell, please do. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Mapledale Lane. All right, it is almost eight o'clock at night and I'm doing something a little different. Yes, I'm here. I just unbuckled my seatbelt. I am going to pick up a couple more VCR, maybe two more VHS, DVD, combo TVs. So in my game room right now, I have six CRT TVs total, two of those being VCR DVD combos. The rest are all VHS TV combos. And the one I'm buying for sure here is a VCR DVD combo, and I might possibly buy my first ever, well, of recent time, just strictly CRT TV where I can hook up something externally to it. What, what that will be, I don't know yet, but let's see. I'm not gonna film in there because I didn't tell the people what I do. It's late at night, I don't wanna be weird. So I'm gonna go in there now and we'll see what I come out with. Let's go. I, I am well aware this is gonna be the worst footage ever because it's so dark, but I ended up getting two of the TVs and they came with not only the booklets, but the remotes. So I know it's better lighting in here and this is why you always ask if you have other stuff lying around. The condition on this Wii is darn near unbelievably clean. This draw pad looks like it's like never been open. Look at that, ooh. And then yes, it comes with the games as well. And then look at these VHS tapes too that he had just for like a buck each or something like that. Jimi Hendrix, Alice in Change, Love and Rockets from the Haunted Fish Tank and David Bowie. Pretty dang epic as well as the TVs that are out there that I'm not gonna show you now. Okay, back to whatever's next. Ricky Sticky with a load of stuff. What's all that for? It's actually not that much. I'm just gonna see, you know, some trade and some trade in action. Where are we going? We're going to go see Chris. By the way, your bicep is very strong right there. Oh my goodness. From Retro Games Plus. See Retro what, uh, Retro. oh wow. Ooh. Is that what you're trading in? No, this is just stuff for shipping. <laughs> Bubble wrap. There you go, bro. Niceiness. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Ricky, are you looking for anything here in particular or just kind of going into browse? Uh, dude, I love browsing. I love I love window shopping. It's, 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 it's a dangerous habit though because once you see that one thing you really want. But over the past decade, the face of addiction has transformed dramatically. I was going to say window shopping normally turns into purchasing. Yeah. I browse just to be aroused. We look like a couple creeps. Okay. There it is. Corner of Beach and Slater in Huntington Beach. For those Holy of you. Holy moly. Oh, I get why you said that. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, here we are. Retro Gamesers, Plusers, the local spot. I'm wearing the jacket that I bought here last time. I, I appreciate it, sir. You know what, because you said it looks nice, I'm buying it. You just made my decision for me. It's $100. I feel, I love this jacket, by the way. It's so cool, Ricky. It's so like. Oh, I should have bought my Everlast shirt. You should have brought your, oh yeah, the Everlast shirt you got. That thing is sick. I found that. That was, that was a good. That was a good one. Good find, dude. What you got in there, Ricky? Bring it out, bring it out, bring it. I thought we already went through this. Uh, bro, I want to show it again, all right? Why you hate? Uh, so I got this shirt that I'm going to trade in. He's giving that to my dad. That's amazing. My dad's favorite movie of all time. I'm your Huckleberry. My dad's not doing so well these days, so giving him some smiles for a oh, while, yeah. hopefully. He's actually the guy that got me got me into this movie, so. This is for you, daddy! There it is. All right, time to enter the dungeon. All right, I brought some VHSs for him. That dog, I brought some VHSs. Oh, extra ones. I already traded in a bunch of stuff. Let's see how much trading I got for some VHSs. Remember, don't collect VHSs.
gonna have to talk loud because of the music here. Look at these Jaguar games he got, and I know the owner, Chris, texted me a while ago when these came in. Jaguar by Atari is the only video game system with 64 bits of awesome power. This irresponsible action will probably come out the end of the living room of our young people. Get bit by Jaguar. Someone bought like three of everything, three of every game. I know he has more in the back. Came in, or he might have sold them already. So that's pretty cool. Ricky, which one would you pick? Ninja? Uh, yeah. Kasumi Ninja? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Rune or Pinball, I like that. But Doom on the Jaguar just feels Doom? cool. Ooh, Alien versus Predator actually too would be really sick. I like that a lot. crazy that like there's all that Jaguar stuff over there so but the stuff that's always the coolest to me is just the cool box stuff like that controller in the box want, I kind of want that controller how sick is that and also the team tap right there that is so cool every console basically had their version of that like the multi-tap way to get you know the four score dude it's beautiful I like, love that I when do you see a, a Jaguar controller oh and there's some loose games back there I bet I think he has I think he got two or three consoles in too is this the day I don't think so. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> there he is. Better known as Mr. Bicep. Mr. Bicep. Dang, good to see you. I was showing Ricky your a whole Jaguar lot score that oh, came yeah. in, yeah. Was there consoles too as well? There was, I have them in the back. There was oh, wow. three of them. In the box? No, not in the box. But you have them loose? Three consoles, which I, this guy for whatever reason had two and three of everything. That's so weird. Which is so weird. Like I said, it was maybe Mort with his three kids, you know, his triplets. He was <laughs> like, who would buy so three funny. of everything? I'm like, actually think about Mort. He probably has to buy three of everything. He has to. He has triplets for those of you that so don't know. That was so funny when that came up and you were like, cause I was like, who buys three of anything? And you were like, Mort. Mort. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> All right, Chris was, was telling me that he went out hunting on Sunday because we went out on Saturday. He said he got some. Can we see it? Can I'm see going it. here so the music is mine. Uh, see, what you do you get? Really like, you need the Zelda music. What? <laughs> I love her so. I love you, my little pony. My little pony. Each sold separately. Collect them all. So <laughs> I don't collect <laughs> anything my little pony. Does this like? It actually sells. <clears throat> Believe it or not, because we get, I don't know. I mean, there's probably bronies that collect this stuff. For sure. Of course. But we get, you know, people that come in with their little girls and daughters and they buy a ton of this stuff. They love them. And are these like, I don't know anything about. I did watch the toys that made us My Little Pony, but I retain none of the information. Are these OG? Me, just looking at them, and I'm not a huge pony collector myself. Yes. But I, some of these I've like never seen. They look like they're like older, like even just these with the stripes and yeah. stuff like that. And I think these are some of the early ones. I think this is probably like a, they call them series one, almost like Transformers. Oh, and I really? think this might be a series one and some of these other ones might be series one. Like so. a G1, bro. Like a G1. They don't make an episode of Toys That Made Us about a specific toy line if it's not I hot. I saw that. So. so they did do a whole episode just on yeah. ponies. Yep. <laughs> well, dang, dude. What is that called? A blister pack? Is that the way they call it when it's yeah, like that? Yeah, which is weird that this was the official like packaging that Nintendo did, too. Wow, because the other boxes for like the, the basic red and stuff is just a box. But then this is different. Yeah, this is different, but this is how they hung them. That is the so store. cool, though, like man. That. I know, and this is, you know, like the, the ice one. Yeah, whatever. Fantastic. I never know the colors. I never know the color. Atomic something and... Color ice. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> There they are. Dude. The Atari Jaguar. Never actually, I don't, I, it's funny, one of those things, I can't even remember if I've ever owned one or not. Like, I don't know. I know I used to play one as a kid, but did I own it? That's debatable. So it's funny, because the guy that, that traded this in earlier, and I was like, I was like, did you, I was like, yeah, and I was like, did, did you actually play this when you were younger? And he was like, yeah. He's like, dude, the Jaguar was so awesome. And I was like, it was really like yeah it's like he's like yeah we loved it he's like all these other kids were playing playstation one he's like we just had the jaguar and hey like, you know I was like oh all right to I each their own to, you know? to each their own yeah. I was like all right that's dope dude. Works. i like it but yeah there was three of them <laughs> what'd you get for christmas i got ps1 what'd you get a jaguar <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> 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 Dang.
still to this day have been hunting hundreds of times and probably ran across 3DO stuff like maybe two or three times. Really cool to flip through them, the box art, even though it's not some of like my favorite box art or like style of box art, it just is so cool. Everything's like so like rendered, you know, like the background and 3D rendered, you know, where this is the next generation. Look at this. I mean, that's technically all shockwave, but ooh, yeah, I just, it's so cool. Hey, look at that. Realistic. One of the three bears. Yogi, bruh. Unpause. These two were just talking. Ricky's been looking at this thing. He was like, dude, and I was telling Ricky off camera. I'm too like, dude, you're a huge Spider-Man guy. You've always been a Spider-Man guy. Ricky was like, this is sick. Look at the display. It's 160 bucks. And then I heard Chris. 50 bucks. Tell, how much did you just say? 50. You did. You, you don't get to take it. But over the past decade, the face of addiction has transformed dramatically. That's I, pretty I sick, dude. Things, things pretty yeah. sick. Let's get it down. Want to look at it? Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead, Ricky. Oh, you want me to get it, Ricky? I'm like half an inch taller than you. All right. Only if you're going to insult me about my height. Is this going to fall off? No, you should be good. Wow, Ricky, that is pretty pretty. Not gonna lie, check it out, dude. I'll let you check it out because uh, it's yours. Yeah, it's good. I'll take the camera. Stuff. Dude, that is so cool. Wow, that's really cool, dude. And he just gave you $110 off. I mean, wow, this is, and you know, it's funny too, right before this off camera, we were saying display items. That's what we like. I don't even know. What do you think that's of it, a combination. Ricky? Dude, that's sick. Tell that's me one of your favorite man. things about Spider-Man, Ricky. I think I, I think what I love about Spider-Man is there's so many variants, and I actually like the variants. Like they're cool variants. They don't make like the weirdo variants. Like uh. Who's your favorite uh, Spider-Man? Peter Parker. Peter Parker, original. A classic. A classic. I mean, if you didn't grow up with Spider-Man, that Spider-Man show, dude. The best night, the best Spider-Man show is still the '90s. Variants, 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 variants. I don't know if it's unpopular opinion, but I love Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. Oh my God, so good! I really do like him as as Spider-Man. Dang it! Hey, hey, hey! Screw you, bro! Without him, we don't have emo Spider-Man. I do like Miles Morales. Miles Morales is cool. Really good. That's pretty. I was gonna tell you to get out of my store, but it's your store. Get off my lawn. What is it called when a collar is big like this? That's like what I love on shirts, big collars. Like the thick collar like that. I wish I, I wish more shirts had this. Oh, it's called a crew neck straight up? Get out of my store. <laughs> All right, so. I just picked up, I'm gonna pick up this Catch the Spirit National Air and Space Museum. I love this. Again, I'm not like an aeronautics guy, but I just love the fact that it has the bigger collar. It's super vintage. It's so thin that it's even starting to have a little hole in it, but that's okay. But I just love the style, love the vibe. Ooh, look at the stitching on it too. It, uh, it has like that, what is it called? When it has like the, the pyramid single stitch. <laughs> I love it. I think it's gonna fit me good. There's no size on it, but uh, if I have any luck, just like this one last time, gotta leave here with a piece of clothing every time. Get out of my store. Did you hear me? I said get off my lawn now. So Ricky and I mostly hunt at Golden West. That's like where we go game hunting. That's like our bread and butter. And look, look at this shirt Ricky's gonna buy. Golden West. That's a true trooper. A man that's true to his hunt. I love it, dude. Oh, where will we go next time to Golden West? Which dude, wear it. You should go too. I'll go with you guys. Get What's out of up? my store. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna be over the hey. I'm gonna get this. Hey, how much trade you give me for <laughs> Yeah, true. Yeah. I'm all, imagine that, Chris. We go hunting with you, we buy something, but as we're buying it, we're like, well, wait, how much will you give it to me when I take it to your store to trade it? <laughs> ran into this guy was in the store and I thought he was looking at Ricky funny but then I realized <laughs> he said he watches the show so thanks for watching dude yeah, yeah, I appreciate that yeah. that's Ricky by the way if you've never hey, met him before yeah, yeah. all right so I traded in some VHS's maybe like a week ago um, and I didn't trade in that much and I got 260 bucks for him. So just saying, again, if you want to look into VHS, you got to look into it on your own so you know what the values are on your own. You got to learn. Learn so you can earn. I got this, and then Ricky got his cool Marvel, and you did trades for it. I, he literally straight, I, I brought a, a bunch of like shirts in, some vintage shirts I got, some hats, and he just said straight up trade. I felt bad, because- Because it was listed yeah, so high. Dude, he already knocked the price down dramatically. Yeah. I was like, dude, I'll do straight up trade. I was like, who said nice guys finish last? That was uh, Green Day. Green Day. All right. Goodbye. Well, see you later.
Okay, in a second, I want to show you the CRT TVs that I got earlier in the video. But for now, I want to tell you that on November 19th through 21st, I will be at the Retro Toy Con in South Carolina in Greenville. I just got the notice today, so my brain's not fully working, but it's gonna be at Toy Federation. The place we went to a few videos videos ago, Retro Rick did a video there. It was absolutely massive, the most impressive toy store I've ever been to. The biggest selection, great prices, great store owner, fun times, goofed around there with all of our buddies. So I'm gonna buy, you guys have probably never seen this before. This is a character right here called Jar Jar Binks. This is embarrassing. And they're having a retro toy con November 19th through 21st. So if you're in the area and you can get there, do it. And even if you want to come fly out to, I know Pixel Dan is coming. Some others that I honestly just found out about this, just found out I'm going. So I'm telling you all, as I find out, get down there, go down there. It's going to be a blast. But now let me show you guys something. Hey, hey, can I come in? <coughs> can I come in? Right on. So. These are what the CRT TVs look like hooked up. Yeah, the lighting's bad in here right now. Blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. I wasn't planning on filming this, but there's what it looks like. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight CRTs in here, which is awesome. By the way, total TVs, this probably isn't good. Eight, nine, 10, 11, hi, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 total screens. But those are the CRTs. They look awesome, look beautiful. Hooked up a DVD player to this one. Ooh, there's my beautiful Animaniacs from a few episodes ago. But just so happy to have this here at nighttime when this thing is hooked up with all of these playing at once. It is a pure nostalgia blast. I love it. I'm moving the camera around so it doesn't get boring footage and now I'm making you dizzy. All right, that's it. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Little, little shorter video today, but that's just the way the pursuit plays out. See you guys.